Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is ExpressJS full tutorial playlist. We are continuing to learn how to build our dynamic routes or also known as URL building. In the previous episode, we have learned how to build dynamic URLs by passing route parameters. We learned that we can pass one or more route parameters and we can capture them, them in our request.params.key and we can process them. Today, we are going to focus on learning how to build URLs using regular expression or pattern matching. It's important that when you want to optimize your URLs or routes, you might want to use regular expressions. That's another good practice and best practice to kind of optimize your routes. Let's learn it in this episode. This is part 10 of the ExpressJS full tutorial playlist. Make sure you have seen the previous episodes so that you have continuity in learning. A quick word on the dynamic routes. So ExpressJS allows us to build URLs dynamically. That's what we have seen in the previous episode. We have learned to pass parameters to our routes using colon and followed by the value, right? Or the variable name that we want to capture. Today, I'm going to show you how to use pattern matching or regular expression, right? So let's get started. All right, so let's go ahead and create a new route. I'll say get and let's call it slash search, right? And I'm saying that I'm, I will pass key and I'm saying that I only want to pass IDs, right? So for that, I'm going to say zero to nine. That means I'm saying allow only numerics, that is zero to nine, right? Only numbers. And I can also add a validation and say, allow only four digits, not more than that. And then followed by our request response function, data captured is <coughs> request.params.key. Okay. So this is one of my API. So I've built a URL search slash key. Now this is nothing but it will have zero to nine, right? Numbers. And we are saying that the maximum allowed numbers is four. Okay. All right, so let's time to test it. Now, I'm not using node now today. Instead, I'm going to use node mon. Now, this is node monitoring, which means whenever we change anything in the file, it will automatically reload. Let me show you that. <clears throat> so it's watching our file. Now, if I do change, it will automatically restart for us. So we don't have to stop, start all that. All right, so let's time to test it. Go here and say search slash numbers. And how many numbers we are saying? We are saying four. So one, two, three, four. So it says data captured the same number, right? Now you can pass any four digits, it will work. Now, <clears throat> similarly, we let's implement same route for, let's say I want to enter username, right? With the same URL. So now I'm saying small a to z and capital A to capital Z. That means this now URL can be allowed to pass or I can say search username. Let's say I'm creating a new um, endpoint, right? Search username, which will take only characters from A to Z and not alpha numeric. Let me show you that. It will also take four. Now there is no restriction. It has to be four. It can be five. It can be 10 whatever your business logic says, right? So good practice, let's put it five, okay? Now let's go and search here, search username and let's pass some value, arc view, right? So this is six, I'm just passing five. So it says arc yo, right? Now try passing numbers and see what happens. It will give an error, right? It will give error because it doesn't know what route to match because we have told that match only A to Z, right? Similarly, when you go to search and you said you will pass value, which is four, it works fine, perfect. What happens if I pass characters? It will give error. What happens if I pass more than 
four characters it will again give you error right so that is where our error handling come into picture or also called as wild card routes that's what we are going to learn in the next episode stay tuned for that i hope you are enjoying this to express js tutorial series if you have any comments feedback please drop them in the comment section thank you so much see you in the next episode